Ben. Hello, everybody. This is Ben with the Taylor Fit Homes Group. Thanks for joining us today. I, uh, I'm going to talk about my morning routine. I know everybody has a different morning routine out there. This, uh, me sharing this morning routine with everybody is not meant for you to just do my morning routine because I'm talking about it. It's just maybe there's a piece of this morning routine that I use uh, that you could incorporate and just make that little incremental change uh, in, in the way that you approach your own um, morning routine. Maybe it'll, you'll find it, it serves you better in the mornings. Um, currently, uh, this is my current morning routine. I'm waking up at 5.45 in the morning. Last week I was waking up at 6. Decided, hey, why not go for 5.45 this week? Um, and I'm gonna, my goal is to get down to about 4.30 uh, to maybe 5 o'clock in the morning. So somewhere in that range is my goal is to work my way back down to that uh, wake up point. Uh, also, um, when I wake up, I do 20 breaths. Might go something like this. So about a, about a um, four second hold. Um, I, I find that it, you know, it oxygen, oxygenates the brain a little bit and, and really you know, helps me kind of get in the flow of my day, get it started. Um, I don't think about anything in particular uh, when I'm doing that. It's just a good way to kind of get the blood flowing and, and getting going in the mornings. Um, after that, usually it takes about 10 minutes from wake up to the 20 breaths. I'll do um, 16 to 18 ounces of water. And if you did just that, you'd probably be uh, just fine. Uh, for me personally, I do add a little bit of fiber, usually with a berry flavor, um, from Metamucil. Uh, I had, I've had a uh, high, higher cholesterol um, for, a, for a while now, and this is one of the ways um, that I've been able to combat that. And then also, just this year alone, uh, since January 1st, I've lost um, a little over 23 pounds. Um, anyway, so, and then after that, uh, I meditate for about 20 minutes. Uh, I'm going to do a separate video talking about how I got to the 20 minute point. I know um, different people say I can't meditate for 20 minutes. I'm going to show you a little trick on how um, I was able to easily accomplish that goal. Um, also, uh, after that, I, 620, uh, I read. So I'm usually going to read for about 20 to 30 minutes. Uh, I usually read probably 10 to 14 pages in that time. So I usually read it, you know, a couple uh, pages. Um, every couple minutes, I'll read about a page. Um, Six fifty in the morning. I uh, have a gratitude uh, journal um, that I keep. I'll write down simple things that I'm grateful for that day, uh, and then I'm also going to write down my goals, my targets, a personal mantra that's designed to get me through that particular day, and then I'm also going to write out in my planner. I'm going to write out and plan out my day. Um, so then we get to 7.15, I'm going to run two plus miles. I have two different routes that I typically run. One uh, is about two miles, 2.1 miles, and the other one's about two and a half. And then also when I get back, I'm going to do 25 push-ups. And then immediately when I get back, um, I'm going to maybe hydrate again, potentially. Um, otherwise, I'm going to jump right upstairs, take a shower, get dressed, and, um, and then come back down um, downstairs, get some green tea, maybe a coffee with some almond milk, some supplements, and then spend time and hang out with my wife till about nine o'clock. So that's my morning routine for uh, before I've done anything business related. I'm not checking emails during this time. Um, and the only breakfast that I'm gonna have um, is maybe some fruit. So I might have a banana, an orange, an apple, uh, something like that. Um, my goal with, during this stretch is to do some intermittent fasting. The night before, I've stopped eating by 8 p.m., so I don't eat any food um, after 8 p.m. So I have at least 12 hours between any food uh, going in my mouth, and that's a personal goal of mine to, to try with this intermittent fasting thing that I'm doing. And uh, anyway, that's the up, up until 9 a.m. part of my morning routine. I hope you found any part of this morning routine helpful. Uh, maybe you can incorporate one little piece, maybe a little bit more. Um, like I said, in the next video, I'm going to talk about how I got restarted on my meditation practice.